Hi, I'm Ken Rule, Senior Applications Engineer for Expand Machinery. This video shows how to adjust the part ejector on the Gen Turn 36CS. The part ejector pushes the finished part out of the subspindle into a part catcher, then is placed on a conveyor that drops in a basket outside the machine. The conveyor can also place the parts on an optional rotary table to protect delicate parts from dings and scratches. The part ejector uses an air cylinder to push the part out of the collet. It is adjusted by a knurled knob located at the back of the subspindle. To set up the part ejector, you will need to remove the outside cover on the right side of the machine and remove the cover on the back of the subspindle. The physical adjustment is made by loosening the lock nut and turning the knurled knob to locate the pusher at the face of the collet. We can operate the part catcher manually by placing the mode select switch in one of the manual modes. Press the 1 slash 2 button so the indicator light is on. Make sure the subspindle collet is open. If not, press the collet open button. Press the part catcher button the pusher should go to the forward position. Now you can turn the knurled adjustment knob to locate the end of the pusher at the face of the subspindle collet. Now you need to set the part ejector forward confirmation switch. The cylinder has two proximity switches that have a red light to show when they have been activated. The switch closest to the spindle nose is the part ejector forward confirmation switch. Use a small Phillips screwdriver to loosen the screw going through the switch and mounting bracket. Move the switch until the light comes on, indicating that the part catcher is in the forward position. Tighten the screw and press the part catcher button to make sure that the pusher moves from the forward position to the retracted position several times and verify that both switches activate in the forward and retract positions. This will verify the part ejector has completed its travel and will cause an alarm if the part gets jammed or the part ejector fails and will inhibit the subspindle from attempting to grab the next part without ejecting the last part. You can make custom pushers for the different applications. The coolant through the subspindle and air blow through the subspindle can be blocked by larger pusher ends. When using a pusher end larger than 5 eighths of an inch, you might want to make it look like this. It will allow the coolant and air blast to get around the pusher end. If you have further questions on the Gen Turn 36 CS part ejector, please contact Expand Machinery. This concludes the instructions on the part ejector for the Gen Turn 36CS. Bye for now.